Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 22nd, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you our space weather update as well. Earthquakes, a look at volcanoes, and as well, world weather. Starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours on our sun. Brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed here with Daily Events Worldwide, observing a couple moderate C-class solar flares as you can see bright regions coming in large sunspot associated with those fiery regions having a look at the last 48 hours incoming this is where we'll see all the action so C-class solar flares outgoing projections and as well CMEs creating some space weather coming our way looking at the last 48 hours outgoing a little plasma ejection on the right hand side in the outgoing position and as well right there on the left hand side amazing images of our sun today and thank you all for watching thank you for hitting that like button a lot of you have been showing all of the great love and support that you can in this community and i'm much love to you all thank you so much watching these regions as they're coming in and as well moderate c-class solar flares to talk about but no major CMEs heading our way. Having a look at sunspot regions, as there are seven sunspot regions right now, but one of them, as I said, is coming around right now and is very big, and you can see it flashing off there, shooting off C-class solar flares. Here are all of the sunspots in action, and as well, noting south of this big guy coming in. Look at these sunspots sunspots in motion sped up a little closer view here with daily events worldwide amazing stuff to be alive and grateful thank you looking at space weather conditions right now currently none to report solar winds are sitting at 450 kilometers per second solar x-ray flux remains in a c range right now after seeing moderate c-class solar flares the last 48 hours solar proton flux up a little bit Geomagnetic activity is down right now, but that is set to change here shortly. Having a look at all the images that are available right now with LASCO. A lot of data is missing from the last two days, but definitely showing a CME in an outgoing position. Having a look here at our solar winds smacking our planet, creating our magnetosphere. This is what it looks like versus solar winds versus the pressure planes. This is how much pressure our planet is under right now from the intense solar winds. We've been up into over 500 kilometers per second for the last couple days. ISWA space prediction spiral showing all of the cosmic energy taking off from our sun and heading around in our solar system. A little yellow circle on the right hand side of the sun here is Earth. And that is all of the energy that is coming our way and shooting away from our sun. Let's have a look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. As we've seen a few deep earthquakes here in the Fiji region, and as well, pretty rare earthquake to report there off the coast of Australia and New Zealand. But noting here, some deep activity, 355 kilometer depth, and as well, 41 kilometer depth, but a deep one here, 543 kilometer depth. 4.6 here to report off the coast, southeast of Australia. Australian plate seeing some activity. Pretty rare. I haven't reported one there yet. 4.4 earthquake there. Papua New Guinea. Lots of action through the Banda Sea. One minor earthquake to report there. Japan. Alaska. A lot of minor activity. And as well westward toward Adak and the Rat Islands. And then Toya, Texas. Seeing an earthquake swarm today. Lots of minor activity. Largest being the 3.6. And as well 2.5 ranging in swarm there minor swarm continuing in here in Ojai, california thank you so much for correcting me largest through the region was a 3.9 today and again thank you to whoever pointed out that i was saying it wrong there and corrected it's Ojai, california chile the only one only earthquake to report down there but something's brewing in the southern hemisphere and south america 4.7 there, Turkey, and as well, Greece reporting a 4.3. And then we get to 
middle of the Pacific Plate where we did see some activity and a small swarm occurred overnight at the Kilauea caldera right in the summit. 281 earthquakes according to USGS and there's about 40 across Hawaii right now but yesterday it was up into the hundreds. Having a look here you can see the southeast rift of the summit caldera of Kilauea. Minor activity at Yellowstone moving northwest towards Montana. Not much to report across the Pacific Northwest. In Ohio, California, still seeing about 30 earthquakes the last 24 hours, but nothing like what they saw a couple days ago. They did see a lot of rain over the last couple days from Hurricane Hillary. So just saying. Having a look here at the last seven days for shakers across the planet, a lot of deep earthquakes across all continents right now, except for Australia. But the interesting activity around it is quite peculiar and as well activity that may not be re, uh, be reported in the southern hemisphere in Antarctica as lots of sulfur emissions are coming out of nowhere. That's right, we're going to show the maps here looking at the last seven days for earthquakes. But we will be showing the SO2 emissions around the world as the Pacific Plate is showing a lot of activity recently, especially in the northern hemisphere. Having a look here at firms over the National uh, Wildfire Site, they're showing the last satellite imagery from today. Still hundreds of fires burning across southern BC. Um, they seem to be containing a little bit of the Yellowstone fires. A lot of moisture headed their way from Hurricane Hillary. But watch for Hurricane Hillary to quickly scoot northeast but not before bringing in a big line of moisture from the Pacific. And you can see that going up and over across the Canadian Plains and dipping down into Ontario. Huge cold front coming in. As well, we've got a tropical storm heading into the Gulf of Mexico right now. Set to hit Texas overnight tonight. Well, it is making landfall right now as a tropical storm. We're going to start out here with 92L in Vest Area. We've got Emily, Hurricane Gert. We've got Franklin. And then we've got Harold. Or Gerald. So Gerald is now making landfall. Texas, Mexico border. And then in the long range forecast, watch for quite a few large tropical systems here to develop and quite possibly make landfall in northeast regions of the Gulf of Mexico. So heads up, the forecast is coming up quickly. Quick look, glance, satellite imagery around the world, lots of dust coming off of Africa. But looking here at the SO2 models, you can see something big it is a brewing and a spinning around in the southern hemisphere, low pressure systems right now. I don't know where all this SO2 came from. It just kind of came out of nowhere on the maps. Huge amounts of SO2 being released in the Southern Hemisphere, as well as the Northern Hemisphere. Having a look here, stretching it right out across Greenland and encompassing the Northern Hemisphere. We've got volcanoes in Kamchatka, Eastern Russia, as well volcanoes through Guatemala. We've got the fires in the Yukon and the Yellowknife all across BC and then versus the Southern Hemisphere you just got to really wonder what happened in the Southern Hemisphere to create such drastic SO2 models and we know a lot of earthquakes around the world are being hidden are they hiding anything else here was that an eruption maybe in the Southern Hemisphere I'm not sure, but these SO2 models are showing something drastic happening. And it didn't look like this yesterday. Having a look here at the weather maps here for the next few days, I'm going to be showing the forecast models for Gerald and as well the other tropical storms through the Atlantic. Overlooking North America, big low pressure system across Alaska making landfall and as well northern BC. And then Alberta Clipper forming in a few days spreading across into Ontario, but big high pressure ridge building in behind that. It's not gonna last too long for moisture, gonna dry out. And then look here in the Gulf of Mexico as 
in the long range forecast most likely i think this is hurricane emily making landfall georgia florida and then another tropical system grazing the eastern seaboard of the united states but big high pressure ridge over canada is going to keep things away from the atlantic coast of canada long range forecast most likely category two hurricane when it makes landfall long range august 28th but interesting developments across our equator and our winds all around our planet right now i've been noting it so please stay aware and prepared these systems are going to start tracking towards europe and then europe is going to be seeing some intense tropical systems having a look here at temperature forecast for the next seven days so even towards the end of the month here we're looking at extreme heat conditions across california and as well arizona cooler conditions through quebec but all of this warm air flooding right up into Yellowknife and as well parts of northern Alaska. Look at that versus the other side of the world. We're going through some hot times. Yes, I don't know if it's the hottest ever recorded on the planet, but mainstream media likes us to believe that. So they'll stress it. Having a look here at upper level winds on our planet. I like to share this once in a while, see how things change, showing the southern polar vortex. Huge equatorial winds here. Look how wide that jet stream is heading across the equator right now. Very interesting. Very strong upper level winds, 427 kilometers an hour. Temperature variations here through sea surface. like bath water off the coast of California and the Gulf of Mexico versus the West Coast where things are starting to cool down a little bit even as far down as Washington Great Lakes still pretty warm 24 degrees all across the coast of the United States quick look here at the Gulf Stream in action and we'll be able to moderate this as I show it weekly to see how things change here coming up into the winter months as we are literally weeks away from moving into autumn i hate to say it already but i mean this year has moved by so fast stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun get your daily do bye bye now if you enjoyed today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world